Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. Right now, we're in Missouri State. We're going to be doing a walking tour of downtown Kansas City. Kansas City is shared by Kansas State. Missouri State and Kansas State both share Kansas City, but we're going to focus on the Missouri portion. We're not going to cover the whole entire downtown because we're on foot, but I just want to plant the seed. We're going to walk around for an hour, see what it looks like. It's about 45 degrees today. It's a little cold. Sweater, jacket weather. We got a nice mural for Spira Care on my left hand side. We're approaching 19th Street. We got a Scientology building right there. That tall building on my right hand side, I would say is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stories high. That brick building on the right hand side. Behind the no monthly fees, PNC banking advertisement, that's the Scientology building. We're passing Bob Jones shoes on my left hand side. And we got a Kansas bus stop on the right hand side. We got a mural of a butterfly on my left. This is the entrance for the 4785, 201, 403. 404, 435, 519, 565, 553, 569, and 570 bus stop. Wow. Got a mural right here. A lot of artwork in the city. We got a mural right here for Bob Jones shoes. And then we got a cool mural across the street. At the intersection of 19th and Grand Boulevard, check out that mural on Afterward Tavern and Shells. Books and cocktails. All right, we're gonna just wait right here. I think we're gonna walk behind this pickup truck. Bank on my right hand side. We just passed 19th Street. We're gonna take this down probably like another three or so blocks before we turn and start making detours. See, that's the Church of Scientology building right there. We got the parking meters out. Found sound. Found sound. Got some artwork right there. See the little lines? The little lines are like artwork. KC Wellness and Psychotherapy on my right. I'm going to try not to talk when it's windy. That's going to be a good tip in order to keep good quality sound because I know you guys gonna hear the wind but if it's really windy I'm just gonna stay shut so y'all don't gotta decipher my voice over the wind and speaking of wind I should probably get off of this main street this main street's probably what's gonna bring all the wind towards us we got a nice mirror over here let's make this left hand turn on 18th street I'm just trying to get out of the open because since I'm in the open you're gonna hear all the wind Share the love kc.org kc for Kansas City. Another mural right there. We got the bird e scooters out here for rent. Right. 
We got a rocket over there. Look on top of that building over there. You guys see the rocket? It's so windy out here, yo. Wow, we found some some shade from the wind. It was windy as ever, yo. It pushed the camera and everything. I do apologize about that. Do apologize. If the wind bothers you and you can't make out the audio, you can turn off the volume, put on your favorite song, and just you know watch the walking tour with your favorite song in the background. So you ain't gonna hear me. Put on like an hour playlist. I forgot to take these back blocks because these back blocks cut some of the wind. We got the Hubbard and Kurtz lawyers on my left. You see where the eagle's written at? Where's painted at, I should say? CDC probiotics. See that mirror over there? Some biotics, some antibiotics, I guess. We're passing the Jones Art Gallery. You can even hear like jazz music in the background in front of the art gallery. Here you see, art gallery. Big brothers, big sisters of Kansas City. They have the potential to change the world. Absolutely, absolutely. Our youth are our future. It's mind blowing to think that I was once a youth. And now I'm a young adult in my early 30s. And I'm making my small contribution to the world, you know? I'm trying to document the cities, the neighborhoods, things like that. I think that's pretty cool. We got 17 for Walnut. I'll make the stop right here. I'm going to cross the street now, 17 for Walnut. You guys got an awesome view of the skyline. It's lit. Y'all read that? It said, it's lit. Look at that building right there. All the windows are cemented up. You see that building? There was a bunch of windows. They're all cemented though. Hey, we got some graffiti hidden up there. Duck. I like the brick right here. How uh, it looks like they pressure washed the brick. It's a little stained. The pointing should probably be fresh enough. But I like that they left this building brick. Kansas City, home sweet home. 1601 Walnut Street. Art is in 1889. Over there on that side of the city, you have the convention center. Wow, look at this uh, connection between both of them. Alright, let's cross. We're crossing at 16th and Walnut. Bella Epoch and Shelter Salon. Is it Shelter Salon? Tenant Wine Bar and Kitchen. Oh my God. Crossroads Chiropractic and Wellness Center. Platinum Floral Studio. Vision Source Eye Care. Love Stoned. Check out this sign right here. 
coming soon, spring 2022. So that building isn't completely finished yet. Hilti, looks like Hilti might be some tools, like a tool shop. Right next to it, they got something white, bridal boutique. You can see it looks like they're building a new building right here. Lifetime Solar on our right, probably a solar company. Visit lifetimesolar.com to learn more. That's the T-Mobile Center over there. Then we got some graffiti right back here, you see it? R-A-K-N, Rack. That's the convention center. You see that structure over there with all the wires? See them poles sticking up with the wires going left and right? That's the convention center. All right, we're on Truman Road. We're gonna cross Truman Road. Truman Road reminds me of Vine Street Expressway, the center city of Philadelphia because right below it, there's a highway. Or in this case, a low way. Let me show y'all. See, this reminds me of the Vine Street Expressway in Philly. And if you know, then you know. Yo, if there was a million dollar suitcase at the very tip of that crane, and you had to climb up this whole crane and walk across it to get that million dollar suitcase, how many of you guys would do that? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to let that suitcase stay up there. Am I allowed to use a drone to knock the suitcase down? <laughs> we got the Spark building on my right hand side. We got this work site right here. This is cool because I'm documenting downtown before this work site was, was um, here. Now when the work site is complete, and the building's done, and you got new luxury apartments and living spaces, they're gonna come in 2023. So by next year, there's probably gonna be a tall building here. And this video is gonna show before it was there. Awesome. All right, so we got Chop House on my left-hand side, cocktails. We got Bar Louie, eat, drink, be happy on my right-hand side. Bar Louie. Steaks, lobsters, and all that stuff over there. They got a Chipotle, a Chipotle Mexican grill. They got the Kansas City uh, banners. Got the country road, what's this, ice house. Look at here, you got a nice little strip. A little area that you could probably come out here, walk, eat, dine at nighttime. So I learned that they had a, oh, look at that um, building over there. Let's go check out that building. I learned that they had a 21 story city hall. I wonder if that's it right there. <laughs> we probably gonna have to count the stories this uh, we're passing the chipotle we got insomnia cookies over here i always heard about them but i've never actually eaten insomnia cookies i've always heard about them we got one in philly i just never I oh, don't know, never stopped there. Never attracted me. Look at this shot right here. This is a nice shot, right? Tell me this ain't a nice little shot right here. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Nice vantage point, basically. You got the steps that take you up there. That's pretty cool. You got Bristol Seafood and Steakhouse Social Club across the street. Oh, they got fire over there in the window. Y'all see the fire? Oh, they got fire. All right, so what attracted me to this corner was that theater across the street. It looked like a theater. Is it a theater? Yup. Main Street Theater. Pure Cane Spirit. Kill Devil Club. Yo, that's called the Kill Devil Club. Burger Kitchen and Bar. You got the Drunken Fish over here. Sushi Restaurant and Lounge. 
We got some people who look like they're executives. Probably on lunch break. Look at this church. Look at that cap. Look at the detail in that crown work. Look at that signage. The floral decor that's in the stone that's engraved and carved around the windows and whatnot. All right, so we're gonna make this right hand turn on Main Street. We just passed the Protein House on my right hand side. We got a business called The Protein House. I guess they sell high protein food. Athletes eat and train, they don't diet and exercise. Wow, that's powerful. That's a powerful statement right there, guys. Speaking of powerful, look at this view. Oh, hold on, let's look at this trolley first. Right? And then let's look at this view right here. This view right here is incredible. Stop finishing. The guys were waiting for me to complete the shot. They were waiting for me to finish the shot. But Jersey was on point. She wasn't letting them cross. Some lady just stopped too and wanted to randomly pet Philly. <laughs> She's like, ooh, can I pet your dog, your puppy? Right, we're approaching a union food experience the casentinos or casentinos market downtown and then we got h r block right here about that time of the year it's tax season right you got yard house baked food on my left all right we actually got the convention center straight down here straight down there is the convention center see that triangle yeah kansas city uh shirts looks like souvenirs and stuff look at the sidewalk now we're gonna focus on the sidewalk little details like this make any place look a lot prettier see they got the grate the metal grate I guess so people's dogs don't be pooping right there. <laughs> That's nice. Speaking of nice, look at the detail on the front of that building, the Midland. Arvis Bank Theater. Look at the detail. Sheesh. I like being on the back block because it's not that much wind. The wind is not as strong as it was on like the front blocks, the main blocks. Passing a parking garage. We got the Evergy building and one Kansas City place on our left. We got the We Work building across the street on our left hand side. Uh, we got Plow Boys Barbecue. Crossing at 12th Street, 12th and Main. Now I want to show you guys this sign that's right behind me. 
See that sign right there? That sign looks cool. The sun's kind of diffusing the sign, so you guys can't really see it. But if you pause it and you tone down the contrast, you'll be able to see the sign more. Metro Center. Check out this little artwork they got right here. Wow, look at that artwork. It's a woman with like plant and veins and stuff going through her. Or carrying her up. Probably not even going through her. They lifting her up. Maybe that's what it's supposed to say. Nature is meant to lift us. But that's just my own <laughs> way of perception. Huh? We're next to the town pavilion. I gotta stop tilting so much because I'm gonna end up killing the battery before the hour mark. <laughs> Planet Subway, the oven baked original. Oh, it's not Planet Subway, it's Planet Sub. I think my mind automatically wanted to say Subway. All right, we're passing 11th Street. We got a petticoat at Main Street. Petticoat. It says walk, so we're gonna walk. We got 14 seconds to walk. We got a bus coming from over here. Y'all see the bus? We got the downtown community improvement trash cans. Buddy right there with the polo shirt looked a bit cold, right? He looked underdressed. And then you got the dude up there with the shorts, with the gorilla hoodie that was near us earlier. We got a parking garage right here. Another parking garage right here. Commerce Bank. National Bank across the street. Look at that. Look at that nice little walkway over there. I'm almost tempted to go through that walkway, but I kind of want to come down here and then we'll make a big U-turn and we'll come back up. We'll, but we ain't gonna take that, that main street. We'll, we'll take the one with less uh, wind. I like being in between the buildings because it cuts the wind. But there's that nice banking building over there too. See that building over there? That's that's a banking building. We got a CVS pharmacy right here. All right, that's uphill. Right? As you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can make make it out. That's uphill. Um, I think we're going to let's go up one more block and then make a left and then come all the way back. All right, we got a green light now. We're at 10th and Main Street. We got luxury apartments, Sky on Main, right there on my left hand side. tower on me all right we're gonna make this left on this corner we got another one of these uh trolley stops and there's some more artwork right here check it out see the 
the artwork. Spectrum Station Early Learning Child Care Center on our right. Right here in downtown. show you guys the trolley y'all can see what the block looks like all right i think we made some shade again to cut from the wind the mick Cown gordon what the mick the McCown Gordon. Yeah, the McCown Gordon. Or the McCohen Gordon. I don't know how you pronounce that. Check out this uh, building right here. Look at the detail to the, to the crown. You see the detail to the crown? You see all the floral decoration? Made out of, I guess, bricks and stone. And look at that eagle. That's an eagle, right? The Catholic Center. We're at Baltimore. Nice from Baltimore. All right, where are we gonna cross? Crossing nice in Baltimore. We got Milwaukee Delicatessen Company on our left. I smell like uh, pizza. I smell like pasta or like pizza. It's like some type of some saucy Italian aroma. There's like a little diner right here where everybody's eating. A bunch of people eating. Look at these buildings. For those of you who like to admire the building. Oh, this isn't gonna work. There's a dog directly in front of us. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Both of the dogs were gone. That was actually a boy. <laughs> that was a boy. It's interesting. Jersey doesn't like girls. She didn't growl once. <laughs> she finally said, mm, that's one fine young dog right there. <laughs> Jersey's about eight years old. Seven dog years is every human year. So she's about 56, right? Seven times eight. Because eight times eight is 54. 757 is 49. Is my mathematics right? <laughs> Alright, we're on Winnedoke, right? I believe this is Winnedoke. Yeah, so anyway, she's in her 50s. Jersey's on her way to getting on the bus for free. <laughs> Jersey girl. Passing the lofts at 917 on our left hand side. A loft building. Bird scooters on our right hand side. Meters on our right hand side. We got uh, open seven days a week until 3 a.m. John's Big Deck. Kansas City Bar. We got the Graphic Arts building. See right there, it says Graphic Arts. Got a little Kawasaki. What's that, like a golf cart, work cart over there? That looks like fun. I like to do tours in that. <laughs> Next to a library. This is the library district. We're in the library district. Alright, let's cross. We're across the 10th and Winnedoke. We got Kansas City Loft Central on our left and the Board of Trade building. KC Loft Central. A lot of lofts. 
for sale for rent lofts wow so you can buy your loft or you can rent it how many of you guys would want to live in a loft i don't think i would want to live in a loft that's just me personally you get you know a piece of the building is yours you know but you still gotta share the building with a bajillion strangers <laughs> Cool thing about it is that you're downtown, so that's cool. You come straight out of your building, boom, you're downtown. Parking garage, look at that, a dollar each 20 minutes, ten dollars, a daily minimum. Yeah, they said a dollar for 20 minutes. So for an hour, it's three dollars. Then they might as well just say three dollars an hour instead of saying a dollar for every 20 minutes. So we're exiting the library district. On our right, we got the Quality Hill district. We're not gonna go through Quality Hill district. I'm gonna try to show y'all around the convention center. That's a pretty cool site. I just burnt rubber, y'all heard me? It's a, uh, <laughs> my shoes is burnt rubber. Look at that church down there. See that church only at the end of the road? We're at 11th and Winnedope. Wow, look at this. Look up. I want to give you guys the view of the big city. So you can get an idea of like, if you've never been to a big city, if you're from a small town, or you're from somewhere in the world that doesn't have tall buildings like this. I mean, unless you're from Dubai, then ain't nothing to see here. Cause I know y'all got the tallest buildings in Dubai. Dubai, the, what is it? The Burj Khalifa, whatever it's called. It's the tallest building in the world, ain't it? I believe that ended up being the new tallest building in the world. We got their Ride KC Max buses. I'm assuming that's their public transportation. That's what their bus looks like. Oh, he blew off some steam. He blew his turbo. We got the Silver Spoon Cafe. Let's take a look at the graded details. Take a look at the flower pots. Let's take a look at the banisters. All right, so on our right, we have the Kansas City Convention Center. See where the triangles are at? I'm gonna try to walk you guys around this building somehow, some way, it's a huge building. Maybe we could go on their property. Hotel Phillips. All right, let's cross. We're on 12th Street, 12th from Winnedope. Oh, bro, bringing them um, East Blue back. Ooh, that's how windy it is. You saw how the camera got pushed? Because we're back in the wide open space. Phoenix Society for Individual Freedom. Let me pass that side for y'all so y'all can pause it for all my readers who actually like reading. You can pause that and then you can read it. Barney Alice Plaza. Go up here trying to show y'all this vantage point. Convention Center area. Oh, they got a little. What's this? A dog and a turtle? This is cool. Jersey. Jersey swore that was a real dog. Look at, look at, look at. Jersey, get it. Get it, Jersey. Get it, Jersey. It's a little doggy. Get it. <laughs> look at the dog. Look at Jersey about to go smell his butt. Look, I tell you, Jersey. Jersey, stop smelling that dog's butt. Look at that turtle. That turtle is decent. Oh, snap. Look on top of the turtle. It's a little tree house and, and then it's an owl. That's nice. This is nice. I want to pick it up and put it in my back. Oh, they got a lizard on it. They got an iguana on it. Yo. What else y'all got that I don't know about here? Some ants? Y'all got some crickets? <laughs> that is hot. Rebirth, Kansas City. That's cool. This 
this looks like a cool area to like, I guess take photos. You could probably find the perfect selfie around here. Oh, there's another um, statue over there. It looks like of a cowboy. All right, hold on. Let's let's check this out over here. Yo, what yo what they got here? King courts? Is this King Ball Court? One, two, three, four. You know, remember K I N G? You remember? Remember? Remember when you used to play King? Like you know, we. <laughs> I just took it back to grade school. Remember King? If you don't remember King, then then you're too young to watch this video. Say no. <laughs> All right, so that's the convention center entrance under there. That takes you under the tunnel. I'm gonna take y'all this way just so y'all can see this uh, statue of the cowboy. And y'all get another peek of the skyline. Get a lot of nice still shots here. We got the Marriott Hotel right here. So if you ever stay in Kansas City, in Missouri, you can probably check out that Marriott. Tell them Tune sent you. They ain't gonna really care that tune sent you, but it sound cool, it sound good. <laughs> they were like, who? Who? Did you just say tune? Yes, sir, tune. Look at this. He's a cowboy, yo. Oh, he got a get on him. He got a gun on him. That means that he's probably like a, what is he, like a police officer? This heroic size interpretation of Frederick Remington's Bronco Buster is presented by friends of Dutton Brookfield. Y'all can pause that and read it in case you want to read more. We got more KC buses on our right. They're blue. Notice how the other ones were red. Those are blue. It look like they might even have a little water fountain down there. Oh, this is kind of high. Oh, there's steps here. I was about to say, how are we supposed to get off of this? steps here. Oh, I see. We're going under like some type of canopy. Oh, we have more steps down here. Jersey went down them like them. We just went down a few layers of steps. All right, we got, that's the Foley Theater. I believe that's one of the historic attractions that they got here, the Foley Theater. Check it out. They have a couple theaters. And look at this long depth of field shot. It's the convention center, you see that? There's a big structure right behind it, that's pretty cool. We'll probably check out that structure too. Let's just go around this way. Let's, let's pass the Foley Theater. All right, we're at 12th and Central. 12th and Central. I'll show y'all how empty this bus is, surprisingly. Foley Theater to your right hand side. Uh oh, we're hitting more wind. We got like a bajillion pounds of bird poop here, yo. Yo, this is all bird poop. Yo, it stinks beyond belief. It's like layers and layers of crunched up bird poop. Oh my gosh, it smells like a bird cage. Yo, look at that stuff over there. It looks like fingers. That's fingers, y'all. The fingers got feet. Yo, this is a ton of bird poop, y'all. Y'all don't even understand. It smells like a wild safari. That's all bird poop, look at it. And it looks like they got a bird poop problem here where I think the birds stay up here as ah, this grate. You see this grate? It's like a, like a gated mesh where the birds probably like hang out at. And then the bird droppings fall right here. We're at the intersection of Broadway and 12th. We got Mary conceived without sin, pray for us on my right hand side. 
Let's make this left. Now we're in the convention district. We got signs right up there that read Kansas City. So all this building on my left is the convention center. It's a huge building. So expect this to be like a two minute walk, three minute walk until we get to the other end of the building. But at the end of it, I promise you it's gonna be a nice sight. Ah, I think I got bird poop in my eye. Oh no. Like all the dust and the debris, like you need a whole, a whole gas mask to walk by this, this convention center. Then there's a thousand feathers all over the floor. Like they've done had parties and shindigs over here. We got Grace and Holy Trinity Cathedral. We're at 13 from Broadway. So this is when you go under the convention center, you kind of go through it. All right, we're gonna cross because it's a crosswalk. There's other people down there crossing too right now as we speak. Trinity Cathedral. This is what the convention center looks like as we're walking by. Somebody's playing the system. They got a little bassy system over there in that Impala, that silver Impala. Maximum bass. Oh, you hear. Listen. You can't even hear the music. All you hear is bass. That boy needs some highs. He needs some voice. That's such a bass. You don't even hear like any singing. You don't hear nothing. That's the back of the cathedral. Why do I hear birds? I swear I hear birds. There's probably birds stuck back there inside the vent. I just heard like I swear I heard like a chicken, like wink, 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 or something. Some type of bird. Probably wasn't a chicken. We got a beautiful Jeep Wrangler on my left hand side, owned by an older couple. Beautiful Wrangler though. Awesome vehicle, awesome. Ah, uh, come on, she almost crashed. Jersey almost crashed into a pole. We're at Broadway and South. We got a parking lot over here, more convention center parking. We got somebody on an e-scooter over there. Check him out, see him over there? Right, we're gonna stop here because we got a we got a, a light, a red light. We're gonna wait. All right, wait. We still got another car. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're getting back to the sun. 
We don't got no more buildings protecting us. We got 35 on our left and right, Interstate North and Interstate Right. And then Interstate 35 is South. Interstate 35 North or Right is North. That was a tongue twister. <laughs> All right, we're about to get to that cool site that I was talking to y'all about earlier. I mentioned that when we pass the convention center, I promise you that there's gonna be a cool site. Well, it depends on your definition of cool, but I think it's cool. Wow, look at this. This is a highway down there. I don't know if y'all can even see because of the gate. All right, we're approaching Truman Road. It looks like we got the exit for the highway right here. See people coming off of the highway. And it looks like we got an entrance right here. You can get onto the highway. And here goes that cool structure that I promised you guys. No, it's not the mural, silly. But hey, hey, the mural does look cool. Got a bunch of Asian-inspired artwork. See, looks like a bunch of Asian people. Probably different cultures celebrating their their uh, festivities. But that's the structure I was talking about. That looks cool. Look at that. It looks decent, right? That's the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts. Doesn't it look otherworldly? And then look at that skyline over there, like that view. Because we're up on like a, like a mountain right now, like on a hill. How do you say that word? Q-I-X-O-T-I-T, -I, I mean I-C. Q-O-X-I-C? I think. So look at the Kaufman Center for Performing Arts. And then look at the top of the convention center. You see it? That's pretty cool. See the buildings up there? Kaufman Center for Performing Arts. Oh snap, we got a helmet right here. This is decent. I almost thought that it was a real helmet. <laughs> it's a display. I guess they like, they uh, included it into the seating area. See it? It looks decent though. I was about to pick it up. Like, oh, snap. Souvenir. <laughs> I found another souvenir. We're at 16th and Central. Look at the building right here. So it looks like there's a partition in the middle. Separate. But we're not going to go through there because it looks like a private building. If you go down there, you'll walk by where we were at at the beginning of the convention center. But we're not gonna walk down there. Kind of redundant. <laughs> you guys can see all the skyline over there, right? Like the horizon. I think that's that's the correct term. You can see the horizon. You look afar, and you see the end of the horizon.
horizon looks crooked. You see how the line looks like it's going down? But that's because we're going downhill. We're on 16th and Winter Dope. And yeah, this is downhill. Maybe we should make a right here. Make a right. The downside is we're back in the wind. The buildings provided only so much protection. Look at the building. See the structure? Wow. Welcome to the Arts District Garage. So I guess they got underground parking here. If you want to go and visit those buildings. And over here you can see all of those brick buildings. There's a lot of warehouses and buildings. That's cool. I like it because I come from Raw Home Raid, you know, Brick City. Not Brick City, but Philadelphia. We got a bunch of brick buildings. And to see a bunch of warehouses getting turned into lofts and stuff like that. Commercial space is pretty cool. Look at that. Was that a church? It looked like it. They got a bell right up top. They got like a bell tower. And we got the web stuff. Webster School. Wow, this is 1885. Look at that, guys. Webster School. I wonder if it has anything to do with Webster Dictionary, right? Good question. Does Webster School have anything to do with Webster Dictionary? We're at 17th and Winnedope. So we're still in downtown, but we're getting to like a, like a low rise section of downtown. We just passed the high rise section of downtown. Are right, we gonna cross the street? Show you guys what that looks like over there. We're passing, what's this? The Parrick building? Parrick, P A R I C. Core values, power of one team, exceeding expectations, enhancing our community, doing what we say. Does it say relentlessness? I couldn't catch that. UPS, gentlemen about to make a delivery. Shout out to all the UPS drivers, FedEx drivers, Amazon drivers, um, all of the truckers, all of the people who do deliveries. Because for the last three years, four years, since all the commotion has been happening, those, uh, you could call them the heroes, have been keeping society afloat by making deliveries and not staying at home from, from work. True society. Bella Vogue by Bridal or by Vela <laughs> Tongue Twister. By Vela Vogue Bridal. Rightfully shown on our left. Influence on our right. Not influence, but M E M. Influence. Carpenter Collective on the left hand side across the street. Ah, uh, we got the building with the rocket over there. Look at it. See over there? There's a rocket on top of that building. Y'all see that, right? got like a like a rocket right on top of it it's like probably like 14 feet 14 feet long rocket buffalo state pizza on our left buffalo film row art screen on our right they got a sign right here on our left that reads please be respectful no dog poop or I bet if your dog poops, just at least pick it up. Don't just leave it there. Visit www.loftandcondosearch.com. Right above the Revive building, dining, arts, entertainment, shopping, places to live. We got a big 1818 right here on the wall. 
the Bovary Retail or <laughs> Reality Group. I said retail, Reality Group. Loft, condos, Crossroads Dentistry. We got Mildred's across the street on my left-hand side. And I see a punch buggy beetle from the reflection, a yellow one. You see it? Where's it at? There you go. Yellow punch buggy. Punch buggy, no punch back. Punch whoever next to you. Your mother, your brother, your father, your sister, your niece, your nephew, your cousin, your fish, your hamster, your pet cricket. See? Yellow punch buggy. Y'all see that? Check out the the emoji or, or the emoticons they got on the windshield or on the window right in front of that golf on the business a cup of coffee a piece of bread a sun and a piece of bread with an arrow through it a business called spotlight architect one on our left hand side it looks like they sell clothes right next to it listen design inspire The sun's starting to come out and kick butt. Woo! The sun's coming out and roasting me. I got on a hoodie too, so <laughs> I'm getting roasted. I can smell the the cotton. You, you know like how cotton gets a scent when you put it in the sun? You can smell like warm fabric. We're at 19th and Winnedo. We're gonna make a left-hand turn over here. 19th and Winnedo. Oh, we got a little graffiti alley right here. Let's walk through this graffiti alley. And then we'll make a left once we get to the corner. The biggest name in popcorn. Wow. Manly Inc. The biggest name in popcorn. Oh, this ain't graffiti. It's like street art. But it's still beautiful. Oh, man, that's fly. Look at this artwork. That's tough. Beautiful artwork. Kudos to whoever put this together. Bed Fundy. Look at the bird <laughs> with a cigarette. That was decent. So we're in some sort of alley. All right, we're gonna make this left-hand turn here. Got some more graffiti right here. See on top of the dumpster and all that stuff. That artwork you just saw was in the back of the, concent the Concentra Urgent Care Building. Physical therapy. Autobahn Motor Works BMW Service. Independent BMW Service and Repair. All right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we just reached our one hour mark. I want to say thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, I'll try to keep these tours at one hour long for viewer retention and file management purposes. I do apologize about the wind and the high noise volume in the background. I know it might have been hard to hear me talk above that. Hope you guys got a chance to at least enjoy the experience. You know, retain a little bit of information, learn something cool, see a cool site. If you did, Please consider smashing that thumbs up button, showing some love, showing some support. All comments are greatly appreciated. If you want to go the extra mile, feel free to share this video. Sharing is caring. Only you can prevent forest fires. I mean, only you can help this channel grow. So consider sharing it, y'all. This is your homeboy, Toon. Toon Dallas. Toon 215. Y'all know Toon be chilling. And I'm tuning out. Have a blessed day. <laughs>